All right, all right, let's get into it. We're gonna place an image into InDesign. The image we're gonna place is a cool mountain photo. In fact, I'll put it up right here. Pretty sweet little image. Um, I'm gonna actually get into more than just placing the image because if you're trying to learn how to put an image into InDesign, you're probably fairly new. So let's just dive into it and uh, and I'll show you lots of things. Here we go. ba -da! Ha! Can't, ooh, that one. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're in, we're in. Okay, so. Here's InDesign. I'm gonna start with creating a new document. So this is a little InDesign, like, uh, I don't know, start window. You can hit this create new button or always, you can go up to file, new, document. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, here we are. I'm gonna do a custom just eight and a half by 11 document, but this is weird because it's horizontal. So I'm gonna do width 8.5, height 11, uh, and that's in inches. Sorry for all you metric users. I'm in America and we use inches still. Uh, okay, margins, none of that really matters, um, but 0.5, you could do that. And then uh, you could do a bleed if you want of 0.125. I don't know why it's not around all of them, but that's the general sort of eighth inch bleed. Uh, and I'm gonna create. Okay, so I've got this new little document. I got the little bleed around it. I can switch modes of viewing from the preview to the other mode that we see right here, which is showing you everything, um, by hitting W. So that goes between the two modes, preview and whatever this one is. It actually shows you down here. So this is normal, and then preview shows you without any of the guides or anything. Uh, what it would look as if it was trimmed. Um, we'll get into that in a little bit, but we're gonna place an image, you guys. That's what you came here for, so let me show you how to do that. Go up to File, down to Place. Command D or Control D, you'll get used to that one, so remember that shortcut key, is the shortcut to place an image. Click it. <laughs> it pulls up a window. Windows users, you'll see something a little different, but it's still gonna pull up a window. A little dialog box, and we gotta go find our image. Mine is under this InDesign images folder, and then there's our image. Now, depending on what you're importing, because you can place anything like a PDF or other types of documents, you can click show import options, and that's gonna pull up a separate dialog box, but for the most part, if it's just an image, like just a JPEG or a PNG, all you gotta do is select that image and hit open. Now it's gonna hover that little image on my cursor because it basically is like, all right, where do you want to drop this image? We could drop it into an existing frame or shape or we could just click and drop it onto our artboard canvas area already right now. So I could do that, I could just click, it's gonna drop it right in there. Now my image is huge, too big to fit in this space, right? So what I can do is uh, find my little scale tool, which I believe the shortcut key is E, and there it is right there. So this is the free transform tool. It allows me to transform this image. So I can grab on the corner, hold shift, and just scale it down to scale down that image. And I can click and kind of drag, bring it back up, scale it down, bring it back up. This is a big image, keep scaling. We're just gonna do this forever, apparently. Uh, there's probably quicker ways. So if I also hold Option or Alt, it'll pull in from both sides, which is a little bit quicker way to scale it down. Uh, we can get it in here just like that. Now there's other ways that we can do that, but that's just one way to scale photos with the free transform tool. Holding Shift and Option or Shift and Alt will scale it up and down from the center, if you grab that. Um, or just holding shift will take it from like one corner or wherever you're pulling it from. And the reason we hold shift is to keep it in proportion so we're not skewing the image. If we were to just grab this corner and stretch it out like that, look at how much it skews that image. We do not want that. So I'm gonna undo that with command or control Z a couple times and there we are back to normal. So anyway, here's our little image. Now the way images work, I mean we already placed it, right? So I'm gonna talk a little bit more here. The way images work, uh, they basically are inside of a frame, and then the image is inside of the frame. I just said that, but there's a frame, and inside the frame is an image. So you can see this little circle, and I have a hand icon that shows up. When I click and begin to drag, you can see two different things here. And this might be small on the screen, so let me just scale this stuff up. You know, I really want to demonstrate this well for, for beginners. Uh, but. I have this selection tool selected, shortcut key V for that. Hovering over this little circle, I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna drag it. 
what I'm demonstrating here is the blue outline is the frame and the red outline is the image itself, like that, that JPEG just chilling. If I drag it out of line with the frame, only what is over the top of the frame is gonna show. So notice how I'm gonna drag it way down here. It's gonna be cut off, right? See, we still have this frame, but the image itself is now kind of down here and it's only gonna show where that frame is. So I could bring that image back and it kind of locks into the frame just like that. So the frame, when I just place it, is gonna be the size of the image. But it doesn't have to be. See, I could crop this if I wanted to. I could just click on this, not clicking the circle. I'm not trying to click that image. I'm trying to click the frame. And I can just pull this frame up with the selection tool to sort of crop my image. And there's a lot more you can do to that. You can grab the pen tool, change it, create different shapes and place images into shapes to crop them. But that might be something you wanna do. If you want the image only, let's say we're just gonna scale it down here. I'm gonna bring my frame out to, uh, out to the bleed here is what we're gonna call that. Just lock it into the bleed. We're gonna drag it down here, just like that. And let's say I just want it on the bottom half of the page, like the bottom third-ish. And I want that image to fit in there. Now, yeah, I can click on this and I can start dragging it around. And when I have this clicked, see the image is selected, I can actually use this to scale the image up and down, holding shift, of course, always. And then I can move this around uh, and bring this image into a spot where I want it. So I've got that frame kind of uh, just cropped and then I've got the image. I'm, I'm, I'm messing with the image, manipulating it inside of the frame just to get it into a space where I want it down there. I can hit W, remember that W key to show a preview of that and kind of see where I've placed it on my page. Um, and then the last thing sort of here I wanna talk about is once I have that, for, let's say I want the frame even down here, there's actually some quick shortcut key buttons you can find up here. Uh, you can, f so I think you can right click and find this, okay, yeah, so I'm gonna show you that because not everybody's gonna see all these options up here, uh, but if you right click on your frame with an image inside of it, there's a, there's a little dialogue called fitting and it's about how you fill the frame with the image. So I can fill the frame proportionally, I can fit the content proportionally, which is two different things even though it sounds the same. Fit frame to content, fit content to frame, vice versa, center the content, this is just a quick way, if for instance, like earlier, when our photo was smaller than the frame itself, so notice how our photo doesn't quite fill the whole frame, I can select that frame, right click it and say fitting. Okay, fill the frame. I want you to fill the whole frame proportionally, which means don't skew the image, just keep it in proportion, but make sure the whole frame is filled. And once I do that, it's gonna stretch that image across and scale it, not stretch it, but scale it across so it fills the frame. And then I can also hit fitting and then center content and that's just gonna center the image, which I think it already is, uh, center it in there. But then remember, we can grab that little circle and sort of pull that image down if we want to. Now that we have that selected, we can just pull it down to uh, be in the position that we want it in. Um, I don't know, there's, there's like a lot of things I can go into. If you guys have questions, let me know. I'm gonna hit W. So there's our image at the bottom there. Let's, let's, let's show a little more, show a little more image here, just like that. Okay, um, so we, we've placed this in here. That was pretty easy. There's a lot more things I can go into. So if you have questions, um, be sure to comment down below. I know this is more of a beginner tutorial, so I'm sure a lot of people looking for this information have questions. And so if you watch this whole thing, you probably learned some stuff, I, I hope. Um, and, and there's a lot more I can get into, so if you have specific things you wanna learn, let me know. I'll build tutorials in InDesign around that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more tips and tutorials just like this one. And uh, well, I'll see you next time.